Okay, so winning this amount of money in the lottery could provide a lot of financial freedom, but winning also comes with a long list of things to do and not to do. So let's talk about it tonight with financial analyst James McBride of the McBride Group. Uh, James, always a pleasure to see you. So what's the first thing that a lottery winner should do? Well, we usually recommend when you're coming up against a life-changing event, and the lotto is certainly a life-changing event, is probably not to do anything. You know, the life-changing event that we see in my practice is the death of a spouse. So we always re recommend to the surviving spouse not to do anything for six months, ideally for a year. And with respect to the lotto, you probably want to keep quiet. If you can stay anonymous, that would be a good idea. Unfortunately, there are a lot of scammers out there and you need to be protected. I think the rule of thumb is if you didn't know this person before you won the lotto, you probably don't want to know them <laughs> after you won the lotto. And then the third thing you might want to think about is reaching out to some professionals, like an estate planning attorney, a tax professional, a CPA or an enrolled agent, and maybe an investment advisor. Because just because you won the lotto doesn't mean you're a good investor. Right. And, and really, I think what's important here to remember, James, is that you really need to have a plan for these winnings. That's right. You have to be very careful. You can't emphasize that enough, Heather. You know, I was doing some research earlier today and I learned and this is pretty shocking, is that 70 percent of lotto winners are broke within seven years. Wow. So that right there is less than enough. You know, as you mentioned, take your time. Don't make any drastic decisions. Do, do you still need to live on a budget, though, when you're talking about, you know, a billion dollars here? Well, it's going to be one heck of a good budget, isn't it? <laughs> but that kind of goes to the heart of what's the best decision to make on receiving your winnings. You know, you have two choices. You can take a lump sum, which is actually the cash value of the lottery. So today, I think the reporter was saying that's about $747 million. You're going to have a tax haircut about 27%, and then the money's all yours. It would make more sense to me if they were to take the annuity option. The annuity is for 30 years. The winner or winners receive an initial payment and then they receive 29 annual payments. And each of the annual payments is 5% higher than the previous years. So I would find it hard to understand why somebody would not do that. It would ensure their financial stability of the winner, their children and their children's children. What about a giving strategy? You know, a lot of people, when they, li li when they win the lottery, they, they want to help others. They, they want to do some good in the world. Well, I think that's an excellent question. But going back to my comment earlier about getting a tax professional, you know, if you give a gift, say, to your children or your grandchildren, there's a gift tax like uh, up to 40 percent. So you need a professional there to tell you what are going to be the tax implications of what you're doing. And you also need somebody in your life, your spouse, somebody who can say no. You know, you have you just you have to you can't keep spending. And I guess the rule of thumb is there is that nobody needs two Lamborghinis. <laughs> yeah, I'd be OK with one, though. Hey, James McBride, a fun conversation. Really important, though, for whomever wins tonight. I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you, sir. Heather.